Ever pondered how one man could transform a simple chapel ceiling into a defining symbol of Western art? The Sistine Chapel, nestled in the heart of Vatican City, is more than a place of worship. It's a shrine to human ingenuity and divine inspiration. Commissioned by Pope Sixtus IV in 1477, the chapel was brought to completion in 1483, a testament to the ambitions of the Vatican and the skill of its craftsmen. In its early days the Sistine Chapel was adorned by a team of talented Renaissance painters. They laid the foundations creating a canvas that was rich in symbolism and religious iconography. The walls teemed with scenes from the Bible, a visual testament to the sacred narratives that have shaped our world. But this was just the beginning. However, the true transformation of this sacred space would come decades later, under the masterful hand of Michelangelo Buonarroti. Imagine, if you will, the year 1508. Michelangelo, an accomplished sculptor, is summoned by Pope Julius II to undertake a task that would become his legacy. Despite his extraordinary talent, Michelangelo hesitates. He identifies himself not as a painter, but a craftsman of stone. Yet the call of the divine canvas is strong, a challenge too compelling to refuse. The task is daunting. Michelangelo is to paint the entire ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, a surface measuring over 5,000 square feet. The physical strain is immense, the artistic challenge, monumental. For four grueling years, Michelangelo endures, his body contorted as he paints, his eyes strained from the constant upward gaze. Each day is a battle against fatigue, against doubt, against the sheer magnitude of his task. Yet every drop of sweat, every aching muscle, every paint-splattered day contributes to a grand design, a design that would become a beacon of Renaissance art. But the sweat, the strain, and the paint-splattered years would yield a masterpiece that transcends time. So, what makes the Sistine Chapel's ceiling a timeless spectacle, a magnet for millions of visitors each year? Well. It's not just the grand scale of the chapel or the intricate architectural design, it's the vivid scenes depicted on the ceiling, most notably, the creation of Adam. The raw emotion, the bold use of color, and the lifelike forms all contribute to the fresco's allure. Michelangelo's masterful use of perspective and foreshortening brings the divine and the human into close contact, making the scenes seem almost palpable. But the Sistine Chapel's influence extends beyond its walls. It has inspired countless artists over the centuries, forever changing the course of art history. It's more than just a chapel, it's a cultural cornerstone, a testament to the transformative power of art and the enduring human spirit. The Sistine Chapel, a testament to Michelangelo's genius, remains a beacon of artistic grandeur and an enduring symbol of the human spirit's capacity to create beauty.